The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa! Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are? The one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, 
Unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Uh. <clears throat> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I mean, I made it through training, anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care.
How's the packing coming along, Ys? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but... She's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm hmm So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. 
what I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way. My own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah! <sighs> what was that? That sound. Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. Sounds like a tank. when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. Thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Die! Darkson. Pig! Oh. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <coughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Is. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Wilkes, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. 
Something that might get us out of this mess. Dad's tank! Whoa! I can't believe it's still here! And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? Alright. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine! The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. 
Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike, or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopteran exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? 
Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot. Also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Foldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreaves. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Welks. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreaves. Our mission is to take it back.
The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who is that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Hey there! You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy What? Hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you, anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good, I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please, he's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression 
Good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right, the tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Huh. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then... <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not! Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Go, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <sighs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with a dark sin leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet 
bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a Darkson-hating Chanteus? They may be cranky, but they're characters. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. You were staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellet. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? 
I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh -huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the Eastern Camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the Army on this? The plan calls for the Army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier, too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Verat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team.
<laughs> okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being the same as you. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... wait a sec. Welkin? Welkin? Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, Welks. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Ys. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah? That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia. Think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. And it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Come on. Is this just some game to you, Boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. 
Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that, grass? Missile reed, a tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? Beats me. Swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. Sorry, this is about all I can do. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. 
Well, flowers, do your stuff. Ah, I'm starving. Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ah, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? What? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? That should end our vegetable shortage. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Yeah. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest, out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king, too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature, huh? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss, let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, and I want to start it up again as an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big Macho Man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. 
Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it, swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Wilkin. What are these, some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long-beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. 
Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. La 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 That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Moink? It's... a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? I'll take a look further in. Well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mink? Mink! Well done, soldiers. The operation was a success. Another victory for Welkin Gunther! Nope, not this time. All the glory goes to this little guy. Mink? Way to go, Hans. First day on the job and you're already a hero. Our success today was thanks to the animals living in these woods. Mike, Mike. So, uh, who named the bacon Hans? Captain Verat, I'd like to introduce Squad 7's newest addition, Hans. Hans, I hear you performed admirably today. I expect great things from you. Dismissed. My yank! 